have two kinds of thinking. Okay? We have conscious thinking, and we have unconscious thinking. When I do this, it means your entire body. Right? So the object of the game, you guys ever hear this? He's, he or she's playing unconscious. That's what you want to do. No, that's the zone. That's, that's playing on autopilot. That's no more thinking. It's just like you just walk and you say, ball go there and it goes there. It's the greatest thing in the world. I mean, that's how I broke par my first time. That's how I, you know, got down to a five handicap. All without practicing. It's just the whole goal is to get into that flow state. We've got conscious thinking, we've got unconscious thinking. Now here's the deal. You want to play golf with your unconscious thinking. Right? That's the part of you that runs your body. Okay, here's the thing. It does not care about your golf game. It does not care about how your happiness. It doesn't care whether you do well in school here. It doesn't care about anything other than keeping you alive. But it is the heart, seat, soul of consistency. This is the thing that we do <coughs> consistently from day one until we die. We can't stop it. It just keeps going. I mean, we're out, if it, right? So that's your unconscious mind that does that. It runs all your automatic functions. So if we can tap into that, that system within and have that be our golf, holy smokes. All that's left is hit the ball there, make the communication, and, and it does it, and let it do it. That's where trust comes from. All right, so here's how you actually do this. All right, I would recommend you actually name or personify a part of you, that you that's your unconscious mind. All right, so there's a book called, I'll, I'll explain that. There's a book called Inner Golf by Tim <coughs> Galway. All right, so he talks about self one and self two. Like there'd be Craig one and Craig two, which is my automatic golfer, my unconscious mind. All right, so I've had some of my athletes and golfers say, oh, I'm gonna call it Nick or Charlie or some other name. It doesn't matter what, you, but I, I recommend personifying. You're gonna have these conversations with it not out loud or anything where anybody can hear. But just knowing that we have this automatic, consistent part of us, and you're going to say, you're just going to talk to yourself, all right, do it, man. That's where, that, that's where you're going to actually get trust. This is the guy that knows how to swing. All right? So you've hit how many great drives in your life? <laughs> Thousands, right? <laughs> oh, <that. laughs> a little struggle. Hundreds. <laughs> a few dozen. Mm. That's not too much. <laughs> All right. Everybody has hit great shots with every club in their bag. True? Yeah. Of yeah. So. All right. We've all hit a great shot. Now, here's the thing. If you've hit a great shot just once, let alone dozens or hundreds or thousands, and some of you guys better golfer, then you have the instructions to do it again because your unconscious mind is just like a computer. It's just like the operating system of your computer. That's exactly like your unconscious mind. That's the part you want to golf with, all right? With me? If we can tap into that. So everything I'm teaching you is about tapping into that, tapping into your automatic golf.